Hey there, today we have yet another video on what's new at Louis Vuitton. Today's video will focus on bags that are releasing in the second half of August. And again, this is just going to be the women's collections. I've already released a video on what's coming in the first half of August, the women's fall winter 2024 collection, and special seasonal colors like Arizona and Cognac. So if you missed that video, I will link to it up above. Today, we're just focusing on the bags in the second half of August. We have a lot of really interesting pieces that are coming out. One that I find very interesting is the new Pochette Matisse that has been transformed into a a backpack. We also have a lot of black bags coming out this month. So if you love black edgy styles, then this is the month for you. I'm going to go over all those details and of course my thoughts on all these pieces coming out. Welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by today. This is Lula West Lux, and on my channel, I like to share advice on how to make smarter luxury shopping decisions based on my own personal experiences, and I like to preview new releases at my favorite brand, Louis Vuitton. That is exactly what we're doing in today's video. We have a lot to get through, so let's just dive right into it. The first bag I wanna talk about is a new handbag called the Slouchy. And if you've been on the Louis Vuitton website, you probably have seen this bag because they are very heavily promoting the new Slouchy bag on the homepage for the Louis Vuitton website. This bag is set to launch on August 30th in the United States and globally on September 13th. However, this bag is available for digital pre-order, so it's already on the website. You can add it to your cart and the bag will ship to you when it's officially launched. This bag is a new monogram canvas handbag featuring vachetta leather trim and gold hardware. There is also a red fabric lining, so this is very classic Louis Vuitton. As you'll notice from these photos, the handle is attached to the bag, it's not removable, and it is not adjustable. Just as I was editing this video, I came across a pre-launch unboxing of the Slouchy. This was posted by the Purse blog on Instagram, and you'll notice in these photographs that there is actually a D-ring on each side of the shoulder strap, so it looks like it would be possible to attach a crossbody strap to this bag, even though it doesn't come with a crossbody strap. So there is some versatility to this bag, even though the shoulder strap is not removable or adjustable. You'll also notice that there's this padlock name tag on the side. I think it looks cute. Yes, it is a very iconic Louis Vuitton with the luggage tag and the lock. However, I do see a potential issue with this new design feature. It looks like the lock will swing back and forth across that Vachetta leather name tag as you use the bag and as you walk with it or move. And I think over time, you could develop an arch across that name tag where the metal on the lock rubs against the leather. I do think you might start to see some rubbing there over time. Of course, that's just my own personal speculation. I would suggest holding off on this bag, wait a few months, see what the initial buyers say about that, and maybe wait to buy this bag. This will be a permanent addition to the Louis Vuitton collection, so I don't think there's any rush to go out and buy this right away. This is coming in two different sizes. We have the slouchy PM. This is sized at 13 inches in length, 8.7 inches in height, and 3.5 inches in depth. The larger MM size is 15.7 inches in length, 12.2 inches in height, and 4.3 inches in depth. If you like the design of this bag, but you're not a huge fan of the monogram canvas, I have seen that Louis Vuitton is planning to release both the Slouchy PM and the Slouchy MM in Damier Azure canvas in March 2025. So 
That is a potential new version that will be launching next year. Of course, March is still six months out in the future, so anything can change between now and then. It does have the potential to be canceled, but that's just what I've seen scheduled at this point in time. I would love to know what you think of the new slouchy bag. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Let's move on to another new bag in Monogram Canvas, and this is very interesting. This is the Matisse Backpack. This is launching on August 30th. That should be the global launch date, and this is priced at a whopping $3,100. So this is a very expensive version of the Matisse. It looks just like the Pochette Matisse in reverse Monogram Canvas. The straps on this bag are a combination of a braided leather and gold hardware chain and a regular leather strap. And it looks like all the straps are removable and convertible. So you can attach all the straps to the back of the bag and wear it as a backpack. You can also remove the straps from the back and there's two D-rings on each side of the bag similar to the regular Pochette Matisse and you can attach a strap to wear this as either a top handle or a classic crossbody strap, which is what the original Pochette Matisse is. The other major difference between the backpack and the regular Pochette Matisse is the backpack is smaller. I thought that was a really odd choice to make the Matisse backpack smaller. Typically when I think of using a backpack, it's when I want something larger, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. The dimensions of the Matisse backpack are 7.9 inches in length, 6.7 inches in height, and 2.8 inches in depth. If we compare that to the regular Pochette Matisse, it's about two inches shorter in length, about one inch shorter in height, and it's the same depth as the regular Pochette Matisse. So it's just a little bit smaller. I think there's really only two reasons to get the Pochette Matisse. The first reason is if you really do wanna wear it as a backpack, then you can get it. It has all the D-rings attached in all the places you need to wear this as a backpack. The other reason I could see getting the Pochette Matisse is if you like the Pochette Matisse in reverse monogram, but that size is too big for you. Now you have a smaller option. There is also the Matisse East West, which is smaller, but Louis Vuitton has never released that version in reverse monogram. So now you finally have a slightly smaller version in reverse monogram. However, it is more expensive than the Matisse East West by about $110. So not by a lot, but it is slightly more expensive. I do think this bag is a little overpriced at over $3,000. But of course, that's just my opinion. I would love to know what you think of this bag as well. This month, we also have a few new small leather goods launching in reverse monogram canvas, giant monogram canvas, and a new black and maroon monogram canvas. So let's take a look at those really quickly. Let's start out with the small leather goods in both reverse monogram and giant monogram. I was not able to confirm the exact release date for these pieces, but I believe they are releasing before August 30th. They are actually open for pre-order now, so you can pre-order any of these pieces if you like them. Let's take a quick look at the ones in reverse monogram first. We have the Charlotte pencil case in reverse monogram. This will be priced at $360. We also have the Mark folder in reverse monogram and on the inside you can see it does have a black lining as well as monogram canvas on the inside as well. This is priced at $1,540. I'm not going into a ton of detail about all the dimensions and details about these pieces. They are available on the Louis Vuitton website already in regular monogram canvas. So if you look these up on the website, you can find all the additional details about these two styles. 
In giant monogram canvas, we are getting the Nice BB vanity case. This is actually the largest size of the Nice vanity case. This is in giant monogram with a touch of reverse monogram on top, which I really enjoy. That will be priced at $1,550 US dollars. We're also getting the Cosmetic Pouch PM in Giant Monogram Canvas, and this will be priced at $6,750. If you look at this picture of the side of the cosmetic case, you can see that the front side has the Giant Monogram, and the back side of the cosmetic pouch actually has reverse monogram on it. So those are some of the new small leather goods in both reverse and giant monogram. We're getting a new colorway from Monogram Canvas, and this is called Tomet. This features a black canvas base with a maroon monogram on top, and the lining on these pieces is maroon as well. I absolutely love this colorway. And a lot of people online have dubbed this the new Infra Rouge. You may remember several years ago, Louis Vuitton released a ton of women's bags in a black and red colorway. This was called Infra Rouge. This new colorway is very similar, but instead of red, they've gone with a maroon. This is also not a full collection of women's bags. Unfortunately, Louis Vuitton is only releasing three travel pieces in this new colorway. Those include the Cosmetic Pouch PM. This will be priced at $745. We're also getting the Keep All 45. That will be priced at $3,500. And the third and final piece is the Horizon 55 suitcase. That will be priced at $3,950. I would love to know what you think of this colorway. Personally, I really like it and I wish Louis Vuitton had released more pieces in this colorway. Who knows, maybe if these items sell well and they hear a lot of feedback that people love this colorway, maybe they'll release an actual collection in this colorway, but I haven't seen anything yet. Before we get back to women's bags releasing later this month, I have just a few more small items I wanted to mention, and those are the bag charms. We're getting four really cute bag charms, again, all releasing on August 30th. We have a mini Vivienne bag charm. I don't have a price for this one, but I believe probably around like 400 to $500, somewhere in that price range. Another similar style bag charm we're getting is the My Monogram Layers bag charm. And again, this is on a long strap and it's a monogram flower available in two different colorways. We have the classic monogram canvas with Rose Claire leather. To me in the photo, this looks a little more purple, but the color is Rose Claire, which is a light pink. This should be priced at 340 euro. Unfortunately, I don't have the USD price for this. The other version, which will be the same price, is in the classic monogram canvas with reverse monogram canvas. And the trim on this version is in plain Vachetta leather. The final bag charm we're getting is the micro on the go bag charm. And this is basically just a teeny tiny bag charm version of the on the go tote bag. This should be priced at 880 euro. Switching gears and going back to women's bags, we have a few new additions to the Vibe capsule. This is black calfskin leather, and this is the same collection where we previously saw the Carryall Dark and the Carryall Cargo. Now we're getting the Monstery PM backpack, and again, this is black calfskin leather with monogram canvas trim, and it will feature silver hardware. This will be priced at 4,000 300 euro. This should be available for sale for approximately 12 months. Another new bag we're getting in this collection is the camera box. Unfortunately, 
I don't really have a good picture of this bag, so you'll have to use your imagination a little bit. It's this style of the camera box, but the main body of the bag is black calfskin leather. The top flap is monogram canvas, and the top handle is in black leather as well, and this will feature a silver chain. This bag will be priced at $3,600 US dollars, and this is expected to be available in stores for about six months. The final new addition to the Vibe capsule is the Sunset. This release date has actually been postponed to September 27th, but I'm mentioning it here because it's part of the same collection with these other bags. This is called the Sunset Dark. This was a vintage Louis Vuitton style that's been re-released in recent denim collections. Now we're getting it in leather. It will be priced at $3,350 US dollars. And again, this will be a seasonal piece, this is expected to be available in stores for about six months. The next new bag we're getting on August 30th is not really a new bag, but we're getting it in a new color. We're getting the Live Pochette in black emprunt leather, and this will feature gold hardware. Of course, this is just a classic neutral. I'm really surprised that Louis Vuitton did not release the Live Pochette in black emprunt leather yet. It will be priced at $1,950 and it will be a new permanent addition to the Louis Vuitton women's collections. This bag is releasing on August 30th, but you will be able to pre-order this bag online a week early starting on August 23rd. The next new bag we have releasing again on August 30th is in the Mahina leather lineup. This is called the Fleur or Fleur. Sorry, I'm not really quite sure how to say that with a great French accent, so you'll have to excuse me on that one. It reminds me a little bit of the carryall because the way the strap is designed, it's very similar to the carryall. It is an adjustable shoulder slash crossbody strap, and it even has the same buckles that we see on the carryall. However, this is quite different because the material is different. This is in Mahina leather, and when you look inside the bag, you will see that there is a zipped divider in the middle. So this bag is going to have a lot more structure to it. The dimensions of this bag are 11 inches in height, 10.6 inches in length, and 3.9 inches in depth. As I said earlier, this will be coming in two different colors, black and galet. Both of those colors will be permanent additions to the Louis Vuitton women's collection, and they will both be priced at $4,700. That is very expensive, but the bags in Mahina leather do tend to be priced a lot higher than other Louis Vuitton leathers. So that is the new Mahina floor. Moving on to another new style that's releasing again on August 30th. We have the Capucine in a new style called Quilted Bloom. We've seen similar quilted Capucines in the past. I'm going to insert a picture up here. I did compare these two styles on my Instagram page a couple weeks ago. Back in 2019, Louis Vuitton released a quilted Capucine that looked very similar to this. The new Quilted Bloom Capucine is going to be coming in two different sizes and three different colors, so let's take a look at those right now. Both sizes for this bag are in the East-West silhouette. First, we have the Capucine Mini East-West. This will be available in the colors Lipstick Red and Optic White. This will be priced at $7,100 US dollars or 6,300 euro. These are seasonal pieces and they should be available for sale for around five months. This is also available in the larger Capucine MM East West size. And this will be available in the color black only. This is a little more expensive at $7,700. 
Unfortunately, I don't have a photo of this piece, but there will also be a Capucine compact wallet in the Quilted Blooms style. And that will be priced at $1,500 US dollars. So you will be able to get a matching wallet for your Capucine Quilted Bloom if you so desire. And again, I think I said earlier, but this bag will be released on August 30th. Moving on to the big capsule collection releasing again on August 30th, we have Blackout. And contrary to the name of this collection, this is actually including three different colors. It is including black, as you would expect, as well as white and red. All of these bags are in leather and they feature monochromatic matte hardware. So the black leather bags will feature black matte hardware, the white bags will feature matte white hardware, and the one red bag in this collection will feature matte red hardware. And the lining of these bags is the same as well. So the black bags will have black lining, the white bags will have a white lining, and the one red bag will have red lining. So starting out with black, let's take a look at all the bags in this capsule. Starting off with the Petite Mall, this will be priced at 5,700 US dollars. It will be your standard Petite Mall, just in this different colorway with different hardware. We also have the Go 14MM. This is priced at 6,750 US dollars. I do have a Euro price for this one. It's 6,200 Euro. I'm also including a photo here of the Go 14 styled with pieces from this capsule collection as well. The blackout capsule will include some ready to wear, which I will show with some of these bags. Next up, we have the Kusan PM. This is priced at 4,700 US dollars. Again, here we have some more ready to wear from this capsule. Next up, we have the Capucine BB. This is priced at 6,850 US dollars. Moving on to two bags in Epi Leather. We have the Twist MM in a matte black epi leather. That will be priced at 4,700 US dollars. The Euro price is 3,800. We're also getting the Twist West. That will be priced at $4,550. That's basically an elongated east-west version of the Twist. We will be getting the Side Trunk MM priced at $4,350. Here's a photo of the side trunk in leather. This will be in black leather with a matte black hardware in this collection. I just don't have a photo of it yet. We will also be getting the Dauphine chain wallet. That's priced at $2,480. Again, here's another version of the Dauphine chain wallet. And in this collection, again, it will be black leather with matte black hardware. And the final piece in black in this capsule is the Capucine GM. This will be priced at $8,700. And those are all the bags coming in black in the blackout collection. We do also have several bags coming in white with full white hardware and a white lining. Let's take a look at those now. First, we have the Go 14 MM. This is the largest size of the Go 14. This is priced at 6,750 US dollars or 6,200 euro. We're also getting the Kusan BB. This is priced at $4,050. Again, here's some recent ready to wear from Louis Vuitton style with this bag. We're also getting the Twist PM. This is priced at $4,450 or €3,600. The next option you'll have to choose from is the Capucine BB. I love the size of the Capucine BB. That's my favorite size of the Capucine. That's priced at US dollars Finally, we're also getting the Side Trunk PM in white leather with matte white hardware. 
That bag will be priced at $3,950 US dollars. Finally, that brings us to the one red bag in this collection, and that is the Capucine Mini. This color is called Lipstick Red. This bag will be priced at $6,450 US dollars. That's everything I have for August, but before you go, I want to quickly mention a few pieces I'm looking forward to in September. I will be doing a proper preview of all these pieces in a future video, so make sure you're subscribed to not miss that video, but let me quickly mention a few pieces right now while I have you. In September, on this 27th, we're getting the Speedy Soft in the size 30. We previously saw the Speedy Soft in Emprunt leather, specifically this one up here in black Emprunt. This is a permanent piece in the Louis Vuitton collection. Now they're going to be releasing it in monogram canvas at a much lower price point. Still expensive, but a lower price point. We're getting the Speedy Soft in the size 30 only. It will be coming in one version with black trim, one version with vachetta leather trim, and a third version with ostrich trim. So if you like a little touch of exotic, there's that option. We're also getting a new capucine malatage crown. So in the past, we've seen the capucine flower crown where you have a line of a monogram flowers across the top of the bag. Now we're getting the Malatage diamond quilting across the top of the bag. And this will be gold and silver hardware, but that diamond quilting style. This is coming in a few different colors and those will be releasing on September 20th. That's really pretty. I love those bags. We're also getting a new bag called the Varenne and the Varenne PM. So it's coming in two different sizes and this is a black leather bag. I'm not sure what type leather yet, and it will feature monogram canvas trim. I don't have any other details on this bag yet, but I did want to mention that I will be keeping an eye out for this, and I will be doing a proper preview in a future video. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for sticking with me through the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's a really quick, simple, and easy thing that you can do, and it really does help support my channel. Thank you so much, and I will leave another video up here for you to watch next. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.